before daybreak, a message from the Attorney General on how to avoid getting scammed. We followed one case and we're able to help in that one, but there yeah. may be many more. So we're taking a look at how to avoid being a victim in the first place. Joe Malillo joins us now with some of those thoughts. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, some simple things that you can do, really. Now, last week we were able to bring you that good news that, uh, that actually the Attorney General's office and, and have been telling us about this kind of scam. But the good news is that we got a Johnson County woman her money back after the scammer tricked her into buying $4,500 in gift cards. Well, after our story aired, we got a few more calls from people being from people saying the same thing happened to them and were one of their family members. So the Attorney General's office is calling these types of scams grandparent scams. The way it works is someone will call the home pretending to be a grandchild or family member in trouble. Then they will ask for money quickly and tell the victim to go buy gift cards and send them cash to a specific person or location. Oftentimes, the grandparent or victim is so worried about their family member, they don't realize it's a scam. Betsy Eisenberg from the Attorney General's office says people need to take extra steps to verify with other family members. Ask them questions that only they're going to know the answers to. They're trying to, to pretend that they're someone that they're not. So if you ask them questions like, when, where were we with the last time I saw you? What, where'd you go to elementary school? Things like that. Most of the time, the scammer's not going to know the answers to those questions, and you'll be able to figure out that that's not your grandchild. Now listen to this. As of the end of April this year, the AG's office has received about 130 complaints. They say that number is up. They usually see a spike in the beginning of the year. It's been up over the for the first four months of this year compared to the last four the first four months of last year, 2016. Best thing for you to do and people to do is to stop and think before acting. Also check social media privacy settings. Oftentimes these scammers get that information from social media and in the end call the AG's office. I put that info on wishtv.com for you in this story. All right, good reading, important information as well. Uh, Joe, thanks for getting through all of it for us. Sure thing.